I've been coming down to Baja for nearly 20 years and it's my absolute favorite place on earth. For me, a typical trip to Baja consists of research, fishing and diving, surfing, and all of the other rugged adventures the peninsula has to offer. In recent years, my family has been growing, making my traditional adventures a little bit more difficult to maintain with such precious cargo. On this trip, I'm taking my Taxa Cricket overland south of the border to explore the rugged landscapes and incredible ocean that Baja has to offer. pulled off the main road hoping to get to a beautiful beach area for the night, but the sun is setting and it doesn't look like we're going to make it. However, we are in this remarkable cactus forest, so we're just going to find a cool spot here to pull over and spend the night. How's that sound, Rhodes? Good. Good? What do you want to do in the cactus forest? Find dinosaur eggs. Find dinosaur eggs. That's all we ever do is look for dinosaur eggs. <laughs> One day we'll find some. What do you think, buddy? Is this a good spot? Yes? All right, here we go. So when he was about uh, three years old, we came out to an area very similar to this, and he's convinced that dinosaur eggs occur in the desert in Baja. So the only thing he's been talking about the whole journey down here is looking for dinosaur eggs. So. Yeah, when Daddy went for a little walk, I just so happened to notice there were some dinosaur eggs around, so he's very, very excited. I think dinosaur eggs. Dinosaur eggs? Yeah. All right, here you go. All right, let's go look. We're going to go look. What is that, Rhodes? Oh, no way. How many more? Go tell Mom. Okay. Let's go look for scorpions while we're here for the night. Look, yeah. Brody. Look at the scorpion right here. Yeah. Hey, good find, buddy. Look, what's that? Tarantula. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is Daddy being crazy? Yeah. But isn't that cool? People are scared of tarantulas, but they're not scary. They're just big, beautiful spiders out here doing their desert thing, huh? Hey, Mr. Tarantula. Hey, see ya. Go see. Go see. Go see. Wait, wait, wait. What kind? What kind? What kind of snake is that? Look at you! Oh, I'll tell that. Oh my goodness, buddy! How cool is that? Wow, I am actually blown away. I've only ever found two rosy boas before this in my entire life. They always have this incredibly placid temperament, which is what makes them literally my favorite snake in the entire country. We only have two native boa species, the rubber boa and this one, the largest, the rosy boa. So to find them in the North American continent in the wild is such a rare treat. Let her go. Here we go. Right, Say bye, beautiful snake. Bye, beautiful snake. It's amazing. See you in the morning, maybe. So after a spectacular night in the cactus forest, we are now spending about eight hours on the dirt track heading to the secret spot that I'm hoping that we can make it there with the taxa. Once we get there, we're gonna set up camp and we're gonna be in absolute paradise.
All right, so we've just arrived at this insane, remote, beautiful beach here in Baja after a very difficult overlanding expedition to get here, but we've made it. This is home for the next few days. We're gonna set up the camp now. We're gonna get the roof up on the taxa, the awning out, the table, the chairs, the fire pit, the barbecue, the cooker, you name it. It's time to get set up and as comfortable as we can be in a short amount of time. Let's do it. How's camp? Yeah. You love it? Yeah. Is this the best? Yeah. Can you stay with mommy? Daddy is gonna go for a dive and try to get us some dinner, okay? Only one, no, two. Only one or only two fish. All right, mommy, you're in charge. I'll see you guys later. Kiss. Baja is such a unique and special place. From the incredible marine rich environment to the harsh landscape, to the barren desert, and all of the fantastic people, food, and culture that come with the wild peninsula. And to share that passion and that love with my son and my family, to me as a father, is just one of the most important lessons that I could ever give travel down here is about getting out of your comfort zone and into new adventures. That being said, it's pretty great to be comfortable along the way. <laughs> 